my name is Pastor Russ Lackey. I'm the pastor at Luther Memorial Church and also the campus pastor at Grandview University in Des Moines, Iowa. The book that I'm reviewing is The Spirituality of the Cross by Gene Veith. I was first introduced to this book right after seminary. Now a little bit about my story. I wasn't raised in the Lutheran Church. I only went when I was a senior in high school because a girl invited me. You know how that story goes, you know. And I shortly after got baptized. I went to an evangelical college where I learned the foundations of Christianity. And then the seminary when I learned the foundations of Lutheranism. And this was a great experience for me. But then I entered into the ministry as a pastor. And I really struggled with how do I communicate the, the traditional values of our faith, the rhythms of our faith, without giving someone a, a gigantic book, right? Because that's how I was formed with all of these practices, all these classes. And so how do you do that for lay people? How do you get them excited about their faith? How, how, how do you help them to talk about, you know, their faith as a Lutheran? And this is where this book was helpful. In it, Veith talks about five things, five tenets of our faith. First is justification. Second, the means of grace, theology of the cross, vocation, and then living in two kingdoms. And each chapter is important for Veith. He's not trying to attack why Lutherans right and, and the other denominations are wrong. That's not what he's doing. But he does take up these topics as a Lutheran. And he explains why it's important as Lutheran. He explains, for instance, living in, in two kingdoms, the sacred and the secular, and how that helps you, or vocation, why that matters. And especially a Lutheran view of vocation. He uses people all throughout. He, he, he brings up theologians like Niebuhr and Bonhoeffer and Wingren, and so, and Luther himself, of course, and the scriptures as well. And so, Veet does a really good job of, of explaining our faith in ways that is easy to understand. And how I've used this book in the last 20 years, I've used this book to give to new council members as they come on or, or elder boards. I've given this in new members classes for those who are interested on a college campus. I have students who come to, you know, who are Lutheran, who just don't know what it actually means to be Lutheran, and so we work through this as a book study. You know, the last chapter, he has, a, he has an appendix in it, and that has to do with, uh, he does bring up the topic of, of female ordination. He's Missouri Synod, so he's against that. And so if you are in a denomination that, that ordains women, like I am, then, you know, I always have to say, reader beware at the end, but, but by no means should you discount this book just because of the last few pages if you disagree on the question of female ordination because this book is so helpful and it's so helpful in explaining our faith in ways that can help you explain to someone else. So I commend this book to your care, to your pastor, buy a bunch of them. And then what you'll want to do is pass them out because people will read it, it'll make sense, it'll help them a lot. Anyway, I hope this is helpful. Many blessings to you. Thank you.